They came in droves yearning to receive different goods which included free education, free baby care and different opportunities from their member of parliament. The assistant minister emphasized the need for the girl child to get access to education and employment, terming the No Baby with Baby program a safe haven for many needy girls in slum settlements. If you look at most of these girls here, they are between the age of 12 and 19, but all of them have babies. And so I want um, to facilitate, they are going back to school, they are getting into training, they are, being, they are building their capacity. But alongside that, I have to facilitate a daycare, a daycare center where the children can be catered for uh, in the mo from morning to evening as I, I, I try to upscale their, their skills. So that is why we are here and that, that is, uh, that was my, th this was my target group for Mother's Day. And so even if you give her an opportunity, she has to stay at home for the next two or three or five years until the child reaches school going age. But if you are able to facilitate something simple like a daycare center where this girl, this young baby, can leave her baby while she goes back to school and, and picks the baby in the evening or goes for some kind of training, then you will have created a conducive environment for her to facilitate herself. Ongoro was also concerned about early pregnancies among young girls and pledged to make a difference in their lives. It, uh, we cannot think negatively. We must be optimistic and we must start from somewhere. And my experience is this. When a child plays with fire and gets burnt, that child will not play with fire again. Actually, these girls who fell pregnant at a very early age, if you want to know people who will now work very hard, even if you take them back to school, they will be the most disciplined and they will work, work very hard because they have already suffered the consequence of being careless. You understand? And some of them were not even careless. For some of them, they are simply victims of circumstances of the surrounding environments where they live. You know, if you are in this kind of uh, environment, where a, a single mother with her eight children is neighboring um, a, a group of young men with a cardboard only as a partition, then you, can, you know that when this girl is 12, she'll be the target of all these young, young men. The launch of the program was a great sigh of relief to the beneficiaries who could not afford to hide the happiness. The young mothers said that they had no doubt they will lead a happy life since they now have a chance to get education, which is key in life. Wengi wetu wapa wakona watoto moja ama wambili, na yao watoto wenye tukona watu kupata kwa kupenda kwetu. Tulikuwa tunaenda kutafuta. Na katika hiyo hali ya kutafuta tukapata mimba bila kujua mpangilio. Na sahi enyewe tunaregrek because atuwezi endelesha maisha yetu. Na kulingana na vile amesema ya kwamba anaweza kutusaidia, wale wenye wanaenda shule waweze kupata kurudi shule, na wale wenye wapengine wanataka courses kama hizo za hairdressing ama dressmaking, waweze kupata. Naona ni jambo la muhimu sana kama ametengeneza it is now a big challenge to the beneficiaries to make good use of the golden opportunity and change the course of their lives. Josephine Oera, GBS News.